once I feed you with an idea that you are susceptible to something, uh, look, I can feed you with an idea that this pill that we just got from the pharmaceutical company, it's the greatest, best thing for your issue. And I give you this pill and you get better. And then later you find out it was a sugar pill and everybody goes, yeah, that's called the placebo effect. And I go, what does it really mean? I said, you didn't get healed by the pill, you got healed by the belief in the pill. And I go, well, yeah, that, that's what placebo is all about. And at least one third, minimum of one third of all medical intervention is, uh, it's the placebo effect that where the healing comes from. Everybody goes, yeah, I know about the placebo. And I go, yeah, but that's a result of positive thinking. W what about negative thinking? Uh, and this is what we don't talk about, but the reality is it's equally powerful in regard to affecting your biology as is positive thinking, but it works in the opposite direction. A negative thought is called the nocebo effect, can cause any disease and, and you can die. If you believe you're gonna die, you can die from the belief. So uh, we really have to watch out because as psychologists would tell us, 70% or more of our thoughts are negative and redundant, replaying the same negative thoughts. I go, if, if thoughts had nothing to do with it, fine. But thoughts, positive or negative, shape our biology. And all of a sudden it says, well, now it's time to wake up because our negative thinking is, is manifesting a negative life experience. The only problem is this, when you invest so much money into a belief system, and then a belief system isn't really right. You try to hold on as long as you can because if you spend hundreds of billions of dollars in this belief, you don't want to just, oh, okay, we'll just change it. So uh, it, it's a struggle, but uh, the reality is coming forward and the public is just becoming aware of it. And it's a revolution because, as I said, um, if you believe genes control your life, you're a victim of your heredity. Right. Yeah, uh, okay, when I say genetic control, that's the belief that genes control our characters. When I say epigenetic control, it almost sounds the same, but epi means above. So when I say epigenetic control, literally it's control above the genes. And this is what we now recognize that the environment, and very specifically our perception of the environment, changes our genetic activity. So that means, oh well, wait, that's not a victim because I can change my environment, I can change my perception, and all of a sudden if I can do that, then I can control my genes. Well, we're going from victim to mastery. Now, when parents have one child, they, they raise it like the first child. Okay, I raise the child this way. After that, if they have a second child, well, they already have all the different experiences of having a child. So they raise the second child different than they did the first child, et cetera, to the third. W what's the point is, well, I can start with the same genetics, like my stem cells, same genetics, but it's the environment in which the genes are found that will determine the character and expression. Now, what people have to understand about epigenetics is it changes the reading of the gene. It does not change the gene. If you're born with gene X, you're always gonna have gene X, but how will it express itself? And I go, well, it depends on, on your life and your character, your behavior, your environment. It's genes plus environment. Uh, if it was just genes, I would be able to tell you exactly here's what's gonna happen. But most of that is changeable by how you, how you live and where you live. So you got about seven major diseases, only one gene. If you got that gene and the gene card shows it, okay, you, you know, you got that gene, you're gonna deal with it. All the other diseases are multiple genes. Cancer is a minimum of 12 to 14 genes, so it's not an accident. Uh, you, you can't change one gene and get cancer. You have to change 12 to 14 genes, and all of a sudden, then probability uh, is a chance. It's like, no, it, it, we are creating a cancer, and we can uncreate a cancer. People have spontaneous remissions, but they, they change it not by changing their biology, but by changing their mind.